Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here. And today we have the 24,000 milliamp solar charger from WB Pine. So stay tuned. Okay guys, let's start off with, I apologize in case you can hear the uh, lawnmower in the background. Uh, I came out here earlier to film, of course, as soon as I got everything all set up, every lawnmower in the area cranked up. So I had to wait a little while, now we're back. Apologize if it keeps going, hopefully my voice will drown it out. But what do we have here today? All right, let's look at this uh, 24,000 milliamp solar charger. As you can see, you have three panels total. You have a 24,000 milliamp battery carabiner for carrying it. And then, of course, as you can see, you can fold it up and use the little snap to keep it closed. Uh, definitely perfect for hanging this on anything, maybe your pack or maybe a book bag or from a tree, whatever you need to do. But um, as you can see here, it has a flashlight on it, which hopefully, yeah, and then you can go through the different modes, right? Uh, which this is really cool because you can actually take it and prop it up if you wanted to, sort of like this on a table or at your campsite or something like that and use it like a little lantern. Uh, so that's always really good. You have your USB ports here that has a little rubber stopper that protects it. So you got two ports plus your micro USB charging port. Um, now on the side, You'll have your little lights right here that it will show you how charged it is. There's four, so you have 25, 50, 75, and 100% charged. When you open it up and it starts to get enough sunlight, let's see right here, you'll see the little green light, and that means that you're gonna be charging by the solar panel. Now, I'll give you some specs and what comes in the box. On the back of it, this is a, what is it? 3.75 watts or five volts out of the uh, solar panels. Uh, your output is your 5 volts and 2.1 amps out of each one of your USBs. And then, of course, your uh, 24,000 milliamp battery. Uh, in the box, comes with your USB charger. I have so many of these, it's just crazy at this point. Uh, you have your user guide, right? Really small one. But these are all pretty simple to use, so not a whole lot. And then, of course, your information sheet. Make sure I get the right language. That'll give you everything you need to know there. All right, so let me give you a little rundown of my experience so far, and then we'll do some demonstration, uh, as I've done before with other solar chargers, with charging it by the sun and just showing you without, with the just the power bank itself. Um, now, this on average, and I've been using this for about two weeks, um, has charged my phone on average about six and a half times, and that's with me using it intermittently while I'm charging it and that's also with all functions on my phone on that's the uh, Bluetooth the Wi-Fi location services all that kind of stuff so um, the phone is getting used and still being charged about six and a half times so I would venture to guess that if I did not use it I could at least get seven if not seven and a half um, and I know I've mentioned this in other solar charger review or power bank reviews the shorter cords you use the more use you're going to get out of it or the more charges because less energy is going to be lost um, so, so far, really impressed. Um, it also charges my phone really fast. Um, I have been extremely impressed with how quickly this will actually charge my phone. It has way outdone any other solar charger that I've ever used. Um, so that's going to be pretty impressive. Um, and what else do I have to say? Oh yeah, by the way, they did send it to me, so full disclosure. Um, but I'm telling you because when they asked me, I love solar chargers, these things, and power banks in general because we live in a digital age where everything is measured in battery power. Um, and then of course, in case you haven't noticed this tree behind me, we just went through a little storm called Hurricane Florence, which is, I was gonna put this review out last week, but then the storm came in. And so this was the perfect opportunity to use your solar charger, right? Because, well, we got lucky we didn't lose power, but I had everything charged up just in case we did, because um, there's a lot of places that did lose power. So if you were in an extended power outage situation not only would this you know charge your phone six or seven times you're also going to be able to charge it by the sun so if you're out of power for a week and you still kept using your phone all the time you're still going to be able to continue to charge it um, all right so what we'll do now is i'm going to move the camera i'm going to uh, start charging it just using the power bank out of the sun to give you an idea of how fast it charged i'll probably give it like 
15 to 30 minutes we'll just see and then uh, after that we'll move it into the sun and give you an idea of how fast it will charge that way all right guys be right back all right so hopefully you can tell the phone is at 36 percent right now everything is turned on i've got the wi-fi uh, wi-fi calling set up the network bluetooth um, so what we're going to do is plug it in now and as you can see the time it is 10 25 this is closed so it's not getting any sun it's only using the uh, power bank uh, Let's just give it 15 minutes or 20 minutes and then we'll come back and then uh, that should give you a really good idea of how quickly it will charge your phone. All right. All right. So apologize. I had to move this inside because just as I stepped outside to start filming, the leaf blowers and more lawnmowers started to crank up. So as you can see now, hopefully you can tell it's at 60% in 20 minutes. From, I think I started at 35. So as you can tell, this is going to charge incredibly fast. Uh, for any power bank that I've ever used, especially a solar charger. All right, now I'm going to move this outside and hopefully not get completely annoyed by the uh, lawnmowers and leaf blowers and show you just what it can do. All right, I guess I'm not going to get a break from the neighbors doing everything in the yard. So hopefully you can tell it's 1058, charged at 65%, and now I'm just going to leave it in the sun to charge this way, and I'll come back in about 20 minutes, like, just like we did the last one, and check it out i am going to cover my phone with my hat <clears throat> just so the phone doesn't overheat and quit charging so uh just be aware of doing that if you have it in a pack or something then that would be ideal all right all right so we're back with a slight reprieve from all the noise so let's check this out you're at 85 percent or actually 88 percent and it is now well that's the time 11 19 or 11 20. So 22 minutes, it went from 65 to 88. So as you can see, very good job, very efficient with charging from the sun. Um, like I said, probably the fastest one I've ever used and I find it very impressive. All right, now let's go back up top. All right, for so some... who's this good for? Why would you want it? And what would you use it for? Uh, let's just kind of cover all of that. Uh, who's it good for? Everyone. Uh, yes, I'm a camper, uh, hiker, backpacker, all that kind of outdoor stuff but this is also good for just everyday use. I mean, like I said, I've been using it uh, every day for like two weeks. So I use it when I'm at work, I use it when I'm around the house. Um, a lot of that was just for testing, but for good emergency backup power, this is perfect. As you can see, this is pretty small and uh, compact for the amount of battery power that you get and for the three solar panels that are attached to it. Um, it's really efficient. I mean, I really have not had one that would charge anything this fast, and I've tested quite a few solar chargers and power banks. So, extremely impressive. Um, now, when it comes to the sun, obviously, if you're going to be charging it by solar power, it's going to take longer than you're uh, just using the power bank. So, definitely expect that, and of course, you're probably going to have to move it with the sun. But at the same time, if you're out of power in an extended situation, this is a perfect thing to have to be able to keep your devices charged. Um, so you can still communicate or depending on what you use for. If you're in the outdoors, you could use your phone for a compass and other stuff, uh, for maps, GPS. So being able to have power is extremely important. Um, and what do I have to say? Would I recommend it? Of course. I mean, this thing has outperformed any other one that I've ever used. And so how could you not want one? <laughs> That's all I have to say. I mean, because it just works and it works extremely well and I think you get it says 500 charges out of it so and there's no memory on the battery so it doesn't matter if you charge it when it's half full or when it's completely dead or whatever um, that's a lot of use I mean you could get a couple of years use out of this and for the price I mean it's right where it needs to be I think all right guys hopefully this will help you I apologize for all that background noise earlier but I have a lot of stuff I got to get done today and I really needed to get this review filmed and so I could get it to you and all right hopefully this will help you in your purchase of a new solar charger power bank oh and I will say the idea of having the power bank and the solar charger together is perfect because I've used ones in the past where I would use the solar charger to charge a power bank or just use the solar charger itself and of course it's going to charge a lot slower so having them combined is perfect perfect in my opinion all right guys in the meantime be prepared have fun.